Hello, everybody. My name is Stefano, and I'm thrilled to be here today in Seattle, Washington State, an amazing wine destination. I know that there are more than 1,000 wineries in this state, and I guess that's at least a couple of wines we're going to taste them today. The reason why I'm here is because I want to talk to you about one of the fastest growing economy in the travel business, especially after the pandemic. I'm talking about wine tourism. And when we talk about wine tourism, we need to focus on the core product of this segment, which are the wine experiences. A wine experience is not walking into a winery and just getting drunk. It may sound like fun, but that's not the wine experience we are talking about. A wine experience is more a hot air balloon flight on the vineyards in California or Willamette Valley here in Washington State. A hot, it can also be, of course, a swimming by the pool and tasting a rosé wine in Stellenbosch, South Africa, or also sleeping in a barrel and making your own wine in Portugal. How can you find these experiences? Of course, you can use Booking.com, TripAdvisor, Airbnb to find the generic solutions and the generic activities. But you will never find the real authentic ones. So that's why, actually, in 2021, we built Wandering.com, the first and ultimate wine travel marketplace that allowed travelers all over the world search, find, book, and review wine experiences online in less than two minutes. The reason why we did this is mainly related to three main points. First of all, we know the market. I could spend hours talking to you about the millions of travelers that every year visit wineries all over the world, but I'd rather focus on one different element. In this year, 2022, we searched, and thanks to uh, a research we did with the university, we found out that out of 27 wine travel websites and marketplaces, there were more than 17 million active users searching for wine experiences. Only 27 websites. Second reason is related that to the fact that we know that our competitive advantages were in house. Of course, we do love wine, and that's a good point, but most important, Dennis, my co-founder and partner, he is a tremendous search engine optimization expert and full stack developer with 20 years of experiences in e-commerce. I've been personally been working in the travel business for more than 20 years, especially in the United States, and Federica is a talented content manager that uh, has an amazing background in hospitality. Third reason is that we knew how to make money out of it. 20% commission on each, revenue, on each uh, booking generated. Of course, as any startup, we also know that we need to focus on our competitive landscape. There are local marketplaces, there are software as an engine services oriented companies that work with wineries, and there are big online travel agencies you would say, how can like two guys from Italy arrive here and tell us that they're challenging the big travel tech companies? We actually made it. In 2021, we onboarded more than 1,300 wineries, and thanks to the optimization process and the implementation of the Google search engine optimization uh, skills and algorithm that we worked on, we overtook visibility of all of our competitors, including TripAdvisor, with zero advertising dollars in one year. This generated 500,000 visitors online last year. More than 12,000 people booked the reservations and, of course, traveled and drank some wine. And most important, we had a 95% decrease in the cost per acquisition. Now, the reason why we are here is because we have been uh, participating into an innovation program in San Francisco since October. And of course, we are trying to understand how to scale up globally in the best ways possible, especially here in the United States. And thanks to the insight that we had in the discussion, we know that we have to work on marketing and sales with American people. So thank you for that, by the way. That was not in the presentation, but it worked. <laughs> uh, we, we, we will focus, and that's why we are asking actually $1 million and we have a clear roadmap of where we have to go in the next few years. API, internationalization, B2B marketplace, partnerships. Our forecast is to reach $80 million by 2027. And last but not least, we also know that in the travel tech world, there have been many cases of merchants acquisitions of big online travel agencies on vertical marketplaces with an average estimation that you can see here between 150 and $300 million.
So thank you for every for your attention. Of course, I know we ran out of time, but since I'm the last one, I would also like to thank the whole organization for this opportunity. Thank you.